Hey, I'm Fred from Optimizer. I've got a new script for you that you can add to your Google Ads account. This one is going to look at your placement reports and it's going to automatically exclude placements if their title is not in the character set that you want. So what does that mean? Here, take a look at this is a placement report that I've downloaded for one of our accounts. And you can notice that most of the titles of the placements that we're showing up for are in English and they're using the Latin car character set. However, there's one here that's in a character set that I don't, don't recognize. So I had to look it up, but this is Arabic. And so what if we didn't want our ad to show next to a character set that is not the one that we're typically using? So how this all works is we use character sets. And what is a character set? Well, you can go to Wikipedia. This is the Arabic script. So they use special characters and that is all defined in Unicode, and Unicode is the way that computers encode these special characters. So the script that we've written and that you can get off of GitHub is going to look for characters that are not in the Unicode script that you like. So if I only want my ads to show up next to placements or for placements that have English titles, I know I need to look for a Latin script because English uses the Latin script. So does Dutch, so does French. So uh, the script, you can grab it here. So uh, it's on the GitHub on the link. You copy all of this. Uh, so usually the easiest way to do that is you go to raw, you copy everything, control C, and then you're gonna go over to your Google Ads account and then you're gonna go and go to the tools and settings. I'm gonna just type in GT, which means go to, and then I'm gonna type in new script. And then it's gonna give me the option right there to make a new script. Make sure you do this for an individual ads account, not an MCC account. This is an individual Google ads script. Uh, you could modify it to work across an MCC, but that's not what this one does. Once you come in here, make sure you delete all of the previous code Google put in and just hit control V for paste. Now we got a few settings. So again, if I'm looking for English titles, that's gonna use the Latin script. Um, but if I was advertising for Hebrew, then I put Hebrew in here. You got a list here of all the allowed options. There's actually many more, so you can see those uh, at this link right there. Then what the script is gonna do is if it finds a placement that is not in the character set in Unicode that I want, it's going to put it on a shared negative list. And so this is gonna be the name that you wanna give to that new, or, or it could be an existing, but that's the name for the shared negative placement list how many placements you want to put on. So max placements, put in the number right there. I think Google allows somewhere around 64,000 as a maximum. So you can take it all the way up to that if you want. Uh, last end days, that just says how many days of data I'm gonna, am I gonna look at? Remember, because it's gonna look at your placement report historically, if it finds a placement that doesn't meet the criteria, then it's gonna make it a negative. This just says how far back to look. Anything below that line, do not make edits because you will break the code. And then you're gonna preview this. Once you preview this, it's gonna ask you to authorize it using this link here. So you're gonna authorize that. And then you can preview it and then you can put it on a schedule and automatically start excluding placements if their title is not in the Unicode character set that you generally care about. So have fun with the script. Let me know if you have any other ideas for different scripts.